This is a Web 3.0 startup with over 1,000 users built from scratch in just one week. In this video, I'm going to tell you how we went from this to this in just one week. Let's get into it. So I'm currently in grad school, and before that, I worked as a software engineer building software that impacts literally billions of people. And I really like coding, but in grad school, the only kind of coding that I do is just like homework that sits on a professor's hard drive in their house gathering dust for decades, never again to see the light of day. So basically I went from like a rock star performing in front of like millions of people to a solo artist with no audience. But then came spring break where I had a whole week to kill with no academic commitments. So I built a startup. So my co-founder and I had this idea of building a platform that solves the problem of NFT scams and so like identifies NFT scams by generating community reviews. It solves a very critical problem in the NFT space, so we went all in on it. So I had just one week to dip dive and build an MVP uh, that we can show. So the first thing I had to do was change my environment. So I traveled to Seattle. After I got to Seattle, we went to an Airbnb in the mountains, which was a few hours drive outside of the city. We settled in at the place which had the most relaxing views, and I set up my workspace. I really traveled with a mini workspace, a monitor, keyboard, mouse, everything on a plane. You really never want to be behind me at the airport security check. After setting up my workspace, it was crunch time. I coded the login feature, the logout feature, the list of NFTs, all in just two days. And then I realized that I had RSVP'd to attend a blockchain event at Stanford University the next day. But we have a small problem. You see, here I was around Seattle in the mountains, and Stanford is here in Silicon Valley. That's a distance of around 700 miles, and I had less than 24 hours to the start of the event. So in order to attend the event at Stanford, I had to fly to Silicon Valley just for a few hours and then fly back to Seattle to continue the rest of my spring break. So I did what any financially literate 22 year old would do. I booked the flight. I just got to SF. That was a pretty short flight. The pilots were late to take off for like an hour, but then they were able to fit things up and get us to SF in a reasonably short amount of time. I do have to get an Uber now to go home to get ready for the event tonight. And hopefully I can get some work done before then. Uh, so I'll see you then. Now, was this a wise financial decision? Probably not if you're looking at it in the short term. But in the long term, it's a pretty good investment. Think about it. I was attending a meetup of Silicon Valley startups working on blockchain and Web 3.0 technology. And as a startup founder, this could count as like market research. So at the very least, I would get to interact and network with some other Web 3.0 founders and learn from them and also get some free food. So I went to the event at Stanford campus, met some pretty amazing founders. Some of them had raised a boatload of capital and overall it was good to see what's considered hot in the Web 3.0 space. That night, I jumped in a retrospective meeting with my co-founder. We talked about what we've done, what went well, and what we need to do. The next day, I flew back to Seattle, fully motivated to work on the remaining parts of the beta version. At the end of the week, we had built Rate My NFT, a website that allows the NFT community to rate, review, and discover authentic NFTs. Think of it as the Yelp for NFTs. You can explore NFT collections, see relevant information, including community ratings and reviews. You can also write your own reviews based on what you think about the NFT project. You can upvote NFT projects that you like, search for NFTs you know, and even list new NFTs if you couldn't find them. We launched the beta version about a week later, and so far we have gained over 1,000 users. This spring break was one of the most fulfilling weeks in my life, and I've highlighted three things that helped us achieve the success we've had so far. Number one, move fast. So we launched a crappy product and got customer feedback and iterated as soon as possible. Number two, 
is EAGNI. EAGNI is a software engineering acronym for you ain't gonna need it. So literally launched beta with the least amount of features that we needed to satisfy a use case. In version one, we didn't even have the option to change a profile photo and gave everyone a random default photo. Profile photos are not essential to review, so we didn't need it. And finally, number three was have a simple and clear launch strategy. Our launch strategy was to get people on Discord, onboard them about Read My NFT and have them learn about the product and get them to use the product. And having that simple launch strategy helped us figure out user acquisition and then change our strategy as time goes on. That's it. Follow Rip My NFT on our social media and join the Discord if you're interested. We have a lot of new updates coming soon, so you don't want to miss out. Also, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!